Bismillah ar rahman ar rahim Our topic for today is Gram-positive rods Positive rod is divided into two groups Spore-forming and non-spore-forming The spore-forming includes Bacillus and Clostridium Whereas non-spore-forming include Bacterium diphtheria and Listeria monocytogenes Start off with our organism Bacillus That consists of two species Bacillus anthracis and Bacillus cereus Anthracis Now we'll discuss its structure Now this organism is a gram-positive rod that is found in the form of chains, hence known as boxcar-like. The organism is a polysaccharide capsule made up of deglutamate. The particular feature about this organism is that it is non-motile. The organism secretes two types of endotoxins. One is edema factor and the other is teeth factor. These endotoxins are encoded in one plasmid. The plasmid consists upon the exotoxins. The exotoxin are of two types. One is the edema factor and the other is lethal factor. It's upon two subunits, A and B. A being responsible for enzymatic activity, whereas B, also known as the protective antigen, respond, responsible for binding. Edema factor works by uh, whenever it binds to a cell, it induces a denial cyclase activity that increases intracellular cyclic AMP causing release of intracellular fluid into extracellular fluid resulting in edema. Now, whereas in lethal factor what happens is that the B subunit binds to the cell, it also produces pores in the cell. Now, when it induces pores, the lethal factor can easily get into the cell and it cleaves the phosphokinase thereby inhibiting the mitogen-activating protein kinase single transducer pathway. This helps in cell maturation. So if the cell will not mature, it will that growth would be inhibited. This organism affects animals more than humans, but it enters the body by three routes. It can be either cutaneous, pulmonary, and even gastrointestinal. This organism enters the pulmonary root by basic inhalation of its spores. Now, this organism rapidly sweeps up to the mediastinal lymph node from the lung, so not a lot of findings are seen on the x-ray. Hence, this is also a cause due to which this disease or pulmonary anthrax is not communicable because the uh, organism has run away from the lungs to the mediastinal lymph node. Because it has done so, so initially the patient will present to us with Influenza-like symptoms like dry cough, substernal pressure that can later on progress to sub mediastinal hemorrhage, bloody pleural effusion, which can be viewed on an x-ray as mediastinal widening. This is a diagnostic criterion for diagnosing pulmonary anthrax, which is also known as wool sorter's disease. This organism is more common in animals than in humans, so the spores that are present on animals bristles and and or or their uh, or or their wool or any other part now from there this organism can enter the skin or either from the soil can they can enter through a traumatic area and cause um cutaneous anthrax now this cutaneous anthrax develops on the human skin as a painless black usher uh, which is surrounded by in um, edematous area, such a lesion is also known as a malignant postule. The route of entry is into the gastrointestinal tract. This is usually by contaminated meat, and the symptoms manifest as vomiting, abdominal pain, and bloody diarrhea. Findings of this organism is that on gram stains, we can see um, a, a chain of rods that have square ends. And on blood agar, we can see these organisms going aerobically. Diagnosis, we use PCR and um, direct fluorescent antibody test. Test, we can also use ELISA for antibodies test. Our choice is ciprofloxacin, but we can use doxycycline as an alternative. Prevention against this organism in outbreaks is by giving the surrounding ciprofloxacin and or doxycycline. Immunogenic response can also be produced by giving them a vaccine, which are given over a period of 18 months and consists upon six doses. And mandatory every yearly booster is needed for active prevention.